beautiful butterflies welcome to miss kyra's library today i have something so exciting to read to you cinderella we are gonna have chapter readings part one of cinderella and after the story we are going to have a talk about what we read so sit back and relax and let's enjoy the story of cinderella Cinderella, retold and illustrated by Fred Crump Jr. Once long ago in a faraway kingdom, there lived a lovely young girl named Ella. Her father died and she had become little more than a servant in her own home. Her stepmother was harsh and demanding, and her stepsisters treated her unfairly. One of her chores was cleaning the ashes and cinders from the fireplaces. And so her rude stepsisters began calling her Cinderella. But through it all, Cinderella kept her manners and tried to hold back her tears. One day, while Cinderella was in the village doing the marketing, she saw a group of people reading a proclamation. She went closer and read. Royal Birthday Ball, His Imperial Highness, King Albert III, invites his loyal subjects to a ball to celebrate the 21st birthday of Prince Alex to be held at 9 o'clock the evening of October 13th at the Royal Palace. Oh, that is tomorrow night, she said. Perhaps I can patch up one of my old dresses and borrow some beads and a ribbon from my stepsisters. And we can all go to the ball together. But alas, when the ladies at home heard about the ball, all became chaos. Drusilla and Priscilla demanded first one dress be prepared, then another and another. Their shoes had to be cleaned and polished, hair ribbons curled, dozens of petticoats starched and ironed, wigs combed, and many buckets of hot bath water to be carried. And her stepmother had an even longer list of demands. And so, by the evening of the ball, Cinderella had found no time to prepare herself or work on a gown. Oh dear, said the stepmother when she saw Cinderella all ragged and bedraggled on the stairs. The carriage is here and we cannot wait for you. You really must learn not to dawdle so, my dear. Perhaps you can be ready on time for the next ball. If she starts now. <laughs> ah, laughed Drusilla. And then, giggling and glittering in their grand finery, the three ladies swept out the door. Some of the tears Cinderella had been holding back for so long shrinkled down her cheeks. Cinderella went to the kitchen and sank down on a bench by the fireplace. Well, she said sadly to the broom she was holding, I don't guess you would care to dance with a rag tag like me, would you? Wouldn't you prefer to dance with a prince? I just love the story of Cinderella. It has so much adventure and also the golden rule. Cinderella is so good about practicing treating others how you would like to be treated. Even though her stepsisters and evil stepmother was really mean and wicked towards her, she was still positive and kind. So, what do you think is gonna happen? Do you think that Cinderella is gonna be able to go to the ball? Or, do you think that her evil stepsisters and her wicked stepmother is going to come back for her and lock her in a dungeon? Or do you think that she is just going to stay home and be lonely all by herself and not be able to go to the ball at all? I guess we're going to have to find out in part two of our chapter readings. I am super excited about part two. So 
Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share Kyra's Corner with chapter readings. I can't wait to see you beautiful butterflies again. Remember to be kind and treat others how you would like to be treated. See you later. Bye. Welcome to Kyra.